major problems with heavy vehicle maneuvers through that. We're very concerned about what's happening in, in the area uh, and the development stage of things. Very pleased that the applicant has taken on board all the relevant points that we've made to them in relation to this, the previous application and this one. It was uh, a very interesting site visit to see that the actual uh, exit or entrance to the, to the site actually forces the vehicle to one particular direction, uh, onto North Road, away from Banksfield Drive, uh, and hopefully make it easier for the residents of Houston. Uh, the one thing that did come to my mind during the, the site visit was the, uh, the uh, time for the development to be uh, developed. And it was a two-year uh, building process. I would like to see a, a slight recommendation, a little recommendation to the travel plan, recommending that all people who uh, are going there to build this particular plant had to access by a north road rather than Banksfield Drive and uh, Eastern Village itself. I believe uh, that a large influx in uh, movements would be detrimental to the people of the village. Got to say it again, it's a medieval village, a medieval layout of the village, so the roads are very narrow, <laughs> very easily congested, and uh, some of them need to preserve as much as possible. I have got nothing against creative employment in my particular world, so thank you for taking those points of view. Thank you. Um, I think uh, all of us Uh, 
Number 21, which I think you suggested to me covers um, construction, though it seems to be fair to all sorts of other policies. So perhaps with those three travel modes in mind, um, I'm so certain that councils and, and residents can be assured. Perhaps you could walk through how we can this um, from the way I go, uh, construction, uh, traffic, delivery traffic, and then I think we all accept the public answer in six months. Uh, thank you, through you, Chair. Uh, condition 21 requires details of the construction management plan to be submitted to the Council prior to the commencement of any development. Um, as part of that management plan, we would expect the applicant to bring forth. Um, um, solutions around um, uh, uh, construction traffic, um, routes that would be used, um, hours of, 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 of operation, um, all those sorts of things that you would expect to be associated with, um, with the construction process. Um, there is detail contained in um, some of the support, su excuse me, um, supporting documents that have been submitted with the application um, and this condition seeks to tie the permission down um, to the details that are con uh, contained in those supporting documents as well but it does go um, beyond that as well uh, and I think um, board councillors and residents um, can be assured um, and we are assured as officers through um, uh, conversations that we've had with the applicant that uh, all those sorts of construction issues will be properly addressed in the management plan. Any other Just the issue of delivery is possible. I'd like to talk about that. Is that for the six month period, or is that something that we do before the condition? Well, deliveries as part of the construction process would, would fall within the construction plan. Um, deliveries that um, are part of the final scheme, as it were, would form part of the um, uh, would form part of the travel plan. I think that's my concern. So if the travel plan is a six-month drive-on, well, that's understandable where you don't know. Uh, I think the other ones would be.